Exodus chapter 9. And Yah said to Moshe, Go unto Pharaoh and speak to him. Thus say Yah, father of the Hebrews, Let my people go, so that they serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and are still holding them, see the hand of, of Yah is on your livestock in the field, on the horses, and on the donkeys, on the camels, on the cattle, and on the sheep, a very grievous pestilence. And Yah shall separate between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Mizraim, and let no matter die of all that belongs to the children of Israel. And Yah set an appointed time, saying, Tomorrow Yah is going to do this word in the land. And Yah did this word on the next day. And all the livestock of Mizraim died, but the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. Then Pharaoh sent, and see, not even one of the livestock of Israel was dead, but the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And Yah said to Moshe and Aharon, Fill your hands with ashes from the furnace, and let Moshe scatter it toward the heavens before the eyes of Pharaoh. And it shall become fine dust in all the land of Mitzrayim. And this shall cause boils that break out in swords on man and beast in all the land of Mitzrayim. So they took ashes from the furnace and stood before Pharaoh. And Moshe scattered them toward the heavens. And they caused boils breaking out in swords on man and beast. And the magicians were unable to stand before Moshe because of the boils. For the boils were on the magicians and on all the Mitzrites. But Yah strengthened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not listen to them, as Yah had said to Moshe. And Yah said to Moshe, Rise early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say to him, Thus say Yah, father of the Hebrews, Let my people go, so that they serve me. For at this time I am sending all my plagues onto your heart, and on your servants, and on your people, so that you know that there is no one like me in all the earth. Now if I stretch out my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence, then you would have been cut off from the earth. And for this reason, I have raised you up in order to show you my power and in order to declare my name on all the earth. You still exalt yourself against my people and that you do not let them go. See, tomorrow about this time, I am causing very heavy hell to rain down such as has not been in Mizraim from day of its founding until now. And now sin, bring your livestock to safety, and all that you have in the field, for the hell shall come down on every man and every beast which is found in the field, and is not brought home, and they shall die. Those among the servants of Pharaoh who feared the word of Yah made their servants and livestock flee that to the houses. But those who did not set their heart on the word of Yah left their servants and livestock in the field. And then Yah said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the heavens, and let there be hell in all land of Mizraim on man and on beast, and on every plant of the field throughout the land of Mizraim. Then Moshe stretched out his rod toward the heavens, and Yah sent thunder and hell, and fire came down to the earth. And Yah rained hell on the land of Mitzrayim. Thus there came to be hell and fire flashing continually in the midst of the hell, very heavy, such as had not been in all the land of Mitzrayim since it had become a nation. And the hell struck in all the land of Mitzrayim, all that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hell struck every plant of the field and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hell. And Pharaoh then sent and called for Moshe and for Aharon and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yah is righteous and my people and I are wrong. Pray to Yah, for there has been enough of the thunder in hell of Yah. And I am letting you go, so that you stay no longer. And Moshe said to him, as soon as I go out of the city, let me spread out my hands to Yah. Let the thunder cease and the hell be no more, so that you know that the earth belongs to Yah. But as for you and your servants, 
I know that you do not yet fear before Yah, our Father. And the flax and the barley was struck, for the barley was in the head, and the flax was in the bud. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they were late crops. And Moshe went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread out his hands to Yah, and the thunder and the hail ceased, and the rain was not poured on the earth. When Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunder had ceased, yet he sinned again, and he hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was strengthened, and he did not let the children of Israel go, as Yah had said through Moshe. Chapter 2